Good morning, Pickles. I love it when you stand on there and on the chair. She's desperate to get outside because I've just done my Monday morning 9 a.m. live workout today. I hope you guys are enjoying my live workout. Pickles is desperate to come outside for a live workout. Okay, good morning. Welcome to the next weekly croc vlog. Look at this messy beard. I do need a bit of grooming. Anyway, it's Tuesday already. Yesterday was Monday, of course. Um, but I was so busy, I didn't carry on filming anything. I've just done another live workout in the garden this morning uh, with JP. It was a tough, tough workout challenge. Um, but feeling good. I'm quite enjoying doing early morning workouts, which I never normally do. I normally walk or just stretch in the morning. So this is setting me up for quite a strong, positive day. I do find being in lockdown now for many weeks in a row has given me like a new routine. So a little tip for you guys is to try and build a routine. Be like conscious about what you're actually actually doing and and plan in what you're going to do each day to be as productive as possible. Very grateful to still be getting out in this beautiful weather at the moment, keeping our distance from everyone of course. Really exciting day today talking about the Croc for app. Had a call with my app developer. Sarah probably doesn't like being in the background of my video. Yeah, <laughs> That's better. <laughs> She doesn't like it. Um, so really cool um, chats with my app developer. Um, because we're in lockdown, the stress of getting the subscription and Gym Fit 4 plan isn't a priority, although it's still going to be going ahead. What is a priority is getting the Home Fit 2 program in the app as soon as possible because so many people, thousands of new users using the Home Fit 1 program, and of course, thousands of users over the past four or five years have used the Home Fit 1 program. Um, we've got to get the Home Fit 2 program inside the app ASAP, and that means. I've got to film all the videos, get the voiceovers, give the plan to them, they've got to develop it, and hopefully by, I don't know, June time maybe, we'll get it in the app, but I'll keep you updated. Another busy morning, up early, did a live workout. Um, it was good, feeling good, and then I've gone straight into a banded back and bicep workout, filming this for YouTube and Instagram, so make sure you look out for it. However, I broke the fence a little bit. Don't tell my neighbor, I'm so glad my neighbor doesn't use social media, YouTube or Instagram, so doesn't know who I am online. I need to fix this before he notices. So if you're keeping up with my vlogs, then you'll know that a couple of weeks ago, I went to have an MRI scan on my knee, which has been injured for a long time three, four years, God knows I've just pushed through. Um, finally, some results from the consultant about the MRI. Um, no significant damage, which is kind of obvious and known because I am still training and getting through. It's just a pain that's always there and instability. Um, the most obvious thing is the ACL has a tear, a sprain, a minor sprain. Um, and then the medial meniscus is also smaller volume than the lateral meniscus. And there's irritation on the patella as well. So it all sounds like overloading too much volume, I don't need surgery, I don't need anything like that. It's all about experimenting now with the decrease of volume and intensity to see if there's not 100% rest because that's not good either. So still using it, but physio and decrease of intensity to see if it can get better. Otherwise, it's just the way it's gonna be forever. I'll keep you updated. One of my favorite meals at the moment, guys, is this protein porridge I'm about to make. So we've got the oats and the unsweetened almond milk here. We're gonna put in the protein powder and the almond butter and topped with this chocolate shot. And also with cacao powder, this is gonna make it so chocolatey. Let's go. Today's lunch, some mixed veg, stir fried, and a bit of salmon, absolutely love salmon. So following on about the chat about my knee, is it's kind of re-enlightened me into stuff that I already know but just haven't really been thinking about really and that is how much I rest. I just don't. I'm, in my mind and body I've been working way too hard and I really struggle to switch off and I've been thinking that all I need is good quality sleep but it's not just sleep that you need. It's also having rest in your day and being able to have switch off from work and I've really, really struggled since this lockdown. I've just been working non-stop and unable to switch off my thoughts. So right now I'm prioritizing working hard, working smart, but also being able to switch off and rest as well. And being able to prioritize a bit of meditation, a little bit of um, breathing 
work before bed and stuff like that. Um, and hopefully I can heal this knee by myself as well as sore shoulders, as well as just having a more comfortable life at the moment. Saturday live workout this afternoon in the garden. That's not just a random chair. We were using that for platform dips in the home fit workout today. Every Saturday I have a croc fitter or a guest join me. Um, and basically I join them in the progress of their workout. So I joined Courtney from not far from here, um, Camberley area on her session 50, which is a Tabata style workout, went really well. And now I've posted it on Instagram, so make sure you're looking out for those. And next week I have a busy live schedule as well, so look out for that too. Yesterday I asked my Instagram audience to vote whether I should keep the beard or shave the beard. Okay guys, this is the most important decision you will make today. Beard or no beard, whatever you decide, I will do the majority tomorrow. And the vote started rolling in almost 5,000 votes <laughs> and votes to keep the beard one, which gave it a percentage of 53%. I was kind of secretly hoping to shave it actually. I'm getting a little bit bored, but instead we're just gonna have to trim it. So let's give that a go. There you go, settled for a trim. Actually, not so bad, quite like it. Oh, okay, an hour and a half, trained in the garden, did a home fit core workout. Then I did some band exercises and then some body weight glutes to finish. Um, feeling good, it's Sunday. Did you like the beard trim? I think it's looking pretty good. Um, basically, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling positive all about this knee injury. Um, what you gotta do with injuries is to really personalize these bloody pigeons. I tell you what, they're really starting to irritate me. What you've got to do with your training is personalize it to what you need as an individual and What I'm gonna to have to do from here on is to train For what I need and that is to reduce the intensity and load on my knee while still getting Progress in the upper body and everywhere else. I'm happy with where my leg muscle progress is So I, I don't mind taking off the intensity in the leg days whilst I still work the upper body and do I just did some pull-ups and scaffolding again by the way um, so yeah, I'm, I am feeling positive, but also a little bit low. I'm icing every single day. I'm just seeing how I, how I feel each day. So I'll keep you updated about that. But for those of you that have suffered knee injuries or shoulder injuries or any injuries in your journey, um, I feel you. It's tough. I'm not even 30 years old yet soon, but I have to think for the future really if I'm not even 30 yet and I'm dealing with this injury then if I push through it I know that when I'm 40 50 I'm gonna really really suffer so I have to be um, really mature about the decision in my training now and look after myself um, yeah so a bit of a downer to finish there but I hope you've enjoyed the entertainment of this week and you're enjoying all the other videos and everything else as well um, yeah that's the croc vlog for this week thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye